a globally recognized energy drink that has made its mark in the beverage industry. Red Bull is renowned for its stimulating effects, primarily attributed to its key ingredients such as caffeine, taurine, B vitamins, and sugars. The combination of these components is designed to provide a boost in energy and alertness. But beyond its formulation, Red Bull has cultivated a distinctive brand identity associated with high-energy lifestyles and extreme sports. The company has sponsored various sporting events, from Formula One racing to cliff diving competitions, showcasing its commitment to adrenaline-pumping activities. Hello and welcome to Solid Brands. Get ready to rev up your day because today's video is all about the history of Red Bull. So buckle up for a high-octane ride through the story behind this iconic energy drink success. Let's get into the video. Did you know that the origins of Red Bull trace back surprisingly to Thailand? Back in 1962, Chaleo Uvidya ventured into business with TC Pharmaceuticals Industries, retailing imported antibiotics and cosmetics. Through this enterprise, Chaleo recognized the potential in crafting his own energy drink, but at a more accessible price point. It wasn't until 1976 that Chaleo acquired the formula syrup for his envisioned energy drink. Naming it Krating Dang, translating to Red Gaur in English, this combination was based on the formula of Lipovitan, an earlier Japanese energy drink introduced to Thailand. This marked the creation of the early version of what we now know as Red Bull. Upon creating this energy drink, Chaleo deliberately targeted the working class in Thailand, recognizing its affordability compared to other brands prevailing in the market. In shaping the brand identity, Chaleo drew inspiration from the formidable Gars, also known as Indian bison, indigenous to Southeast Asia. Symbolizing the inherent strength achievable through the consumption of this energy drink, the choice of red signified perseverance. The backdrop depiction of the sun or yellow ring was emblematic of the vitality and energy the beverage imparted. To promote his energy drink, Chaleo opted for sponsorship of Muay Thai and boxing events across Thailand, strategically showcasing the brand's logo during these occasions. Despite an initial lack of widespread success, the brand steadily ascended alongside Thailand's developing economy. Chaleo's Krating Dang gradually earned affection among the Thai people, eventually claiming the top spot as the best-selling energy drink in the country. This success was attributed in part to their dedicated efforts in meticulous brand building throughout their journey. Throughout the 1980s, Krating Deng's triumph persisted, prompting Chaleo to venture into international markets, beginning with Singapore and subsequently expanding to Hong Kong. The brand sustained its success well into the 1990s. Coincidentally, in 1982, Dietrich Mateschitz had an encounter with Krating Deng during his travels in Thailand. Impressed by the drink's efficacy in alleviating his jet lag, Mateschitz recognized its potential appeal to European consumers. This positive experience led him to import the brand to Austria, laying the start of creation for what would later become the global phenomenon known as Red Bull. Matskitz's professional background as an international marketing director for Blendax, a prominent German toothpaste company, played a vital role in the subsequent expansion of the brand. Recognizing the untapped potential of Krating Dang in Western markets, Mateschitz struck a deal with Chaleo, advocating for a broader global reach. In 1984, the full transformation into Red Bull took place. Mateschitz orchestrated a comprehensive rebranding of Krating Dang, aiming to enhance its appeal on the international stage. Departing from the Red Gaur concept, he revamped it into Red Bull. Both Mateschitz and Chaleo jointly invested $500,000 to propel Red Bull onto the international stage. Following their agreement, the ownership structure was established, with Mateschitz holding 49% of the company, another 49% owned by Chaleo, and the remaining 2% allocated to Chaleo's son, Chalerum. Mateschitz's vision for Red Bull went beyond mere rebranding. He tailored the formula to suit Western tastes by carbonating the drink, giving it a unique appeal. 
Moreover, he adjusted the sweetness, deviating from the original Thai recipe. Simultaneously, the packaging transformed, transitioning from its former design to the now iconic slim blue and silver can aimed at capturing the attention of Western consumers. After the meticulous rebranding process, Mateschitz's Red Bull hit the market in 1987, marking the culmination of three years dedicated to refining the drink for its public debut. Within a year of its release by 1988, Red Bull had soared past the impressive milestone of selling over one million cans. The brand's expansion continued rapidly. By 1992, Hungary and Slovakia were introduced to the energizing beverage. Germany and the UK followed suit in 1994, marking their entry into these markets. The United States welcomed Red Bull in 1997, initially targeting specific states like California, Oregon, Texas, and Colorado, before gradually spreading its presence across the nation. This period witnessed the company's intensified marketing efforts, amplifying the iconic slogan, Red Bull Gives You Wings, a campaign strategy aimed at capturing consumer attention and solidifying the brand's identity. Chances are you've spotted Red Bull logos plastered across sports events, perhaps even in the heart-pounding world of extreme sports, like skydiving or high-speed racing. But that's no coincidence. Red Bull strategically allocates substantial funds to sponsor athletes and events that align with its high-energy, adrenaline-pumping image. This deliberate strategy creates an association between the brand and thrilling, adventurous pursuits, enhancing the allure of the beverage. As Red Bull established itself on the global stage, the focus shifted towards sponsoring a diverse array of sports, ranging from the high-speed world of Formula One racing to soccer, snowboarding, and mountain biking. Their marketing strategy moved towards fostering a sense of personal connection and leveraging word-of-mouth promotion, capitalizing on the excitement generated by these sporting affiliations to drive deeper engagement with their product. In 2001, Red Bull celebrated a significant milestone by selling its one billionth can of the energizing drink. Two years later, in 2003, the brand took a bold step by introducing a sugar-free version of its energy drink, accompanying this move with a campaign focused on promoting sustainability. Red Bull's enduring impact on consumers persists through its iconic logo and established brand identity. The drink's key ingredients encompass caffeine, artificially created taurine, sucrose, glucose, alpine spring water, and a mix of vitamins. By 2020, Red Bull had secured a commanding 43% share of the energy drink market, firmly positioning itself as the industry leader. As of recent data, there are no signs indicating a shift in this market dominance. Red Bull operates across an impressive expanse of 171 countries, with a global workforce of over 15,000 employees. In 2020 alone, the company recorded the sale of nearly 8 billion cans, marking a notable increase from previous years. Despite fervent efforts by competitors such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Monster, and Rockstar, none seemed to match the relentless pace set by Red Bull. Innovation remains at the heart of Red Bull's strategy, evident in its frequent introduction of new events and product additions. These specialized flavors, termed additions, have garnered substantial success, resonating well with consumers. Red Bull stands as a distinctive product, characterized by a unique taste and an assertive personality. Its blend is notoriously challenging to replicate, leading to numerous unsuccessful attempts by competitors to mirror its formula. Red Bull's ability to maintain its stronghold in the energy drink market reflects its successful branding, strategic marketing efforts, and continued innovation, ensuring its position as a front-runner in the industry. Are you tempted to stock up your fridge with this energy-packed drink after watching? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear if this video has you reaching for that can of Red Bull. And if you've enjoyed this video, give this channel some support by clicking on the subscribe button. 
Stay updated on our upcoming content by hitting the notification bell, so you'll always get notified on our next one. Until next time.